This is an example of a Chromebook. This is my daughter's Chromebook. And your, your setup might be a little bit different, but you're gonna be searching for the Google Chrome icon. It's like a rainbow beach ball. When you find that, you're going to click on it. It's gonna give you the Google search page, or you might have a launch page, but wherever you go, you can find this or have a parent help you. Then over here, you can go to your Google Apps in this array. It gives you a menu option for Gmail. You can also click on this word Gmail. It's a shortcut. If you click on the Gmail icon, it's going to open a new window, okay? It's gonna bring you there and then you see this page. Um, what you need to know now is you're going to click on the compose button. This is going to help you write a letter to Mrs. Wex or to any teacher. Show you I have that one already open. It's going to open a new message here in the recipient. That's the person that's going to get your letter. See two. Next, we're going to click on the paperclip icon. That says, if you hover, hover means to float over without clicking it. I move my cursor. Do you see Mrs. Wix moving her cursor? I'm moving my finger and sliding it over to the paper clip. So on the paper clip option, I'm gonna click on that. It says attach files. And then I need to go search for, Mrs. Wix already had a file that she took a photo of and labeled it. So I'm gonna go up to my images tab over here. I'm gonna find the one that I labeled as color lesson. And sometimes you might have one that has all these numbers. It might be difficult for you to find your um, lesson image if you don't give it a name. So I labeled my picture and then I'm gonna open it. It's loading and it was a quick file. If it's a big file, like a video, it will take longer to upload. And then when you're ready, you click send. Then it's gonna go off through the internet and um, it should- Okay, Mrs. Wix is on our work computer. She's gonna go to her Gmail. I can click here on this link or I have a shortcut. I can click on the icon, wait for it to go and check it out. Wow, hi, here's my art. It's from and I can click on this picture to see more. Wow, great job. Look at the image. It is in full screen. I can make sure to read all the labels. Great coloring, nice job. And then you just click to the side and it makes it smaller again and you're all done. Thanks for sharing your artwork with me. Okay, so I want to share how to take a photo on your Chromebook. Every Chromebook may be a little bit different, but um, here are some tools and tips on how to get your camera set up. So here is a circle in the left hand corner called the launcher. If you click on it, you may not see every device, but you might find a search bar. You could type in the word camera and then the icon for camera will come up and you can click on it. Oh. Out of that, if I don't see it as a shortcut here that says camera, I can click on this little arrow above to open up the whole window. And I have two dots on the right hand side right here where I can click to see more tools. Like I have a calculator and things like that. But I found the camera, so I'm gonna click on the camera icon. And there, there's me. So I can lift this up. I have a full screen mode over here and I wanna make sure I can get the most of, um, picture. Uh, so I'm gonna click that and I have a few options here. If I'm good at holding my paper and it's not shaking, it's not falling apart like this and I can hold it with one hand, I can use my finger on the trackpad to go over and click the big circle um, to take a photo. But if I'm not good at balancing and I'm having trouble holding it, my picture is gonna look blurry or fuzzy. So the next thing, the left-hand side of your screen, there are a few tools 
that you can use. The top one flips it, right? So I'm waving my left hand, but it's kind of giving me the opposite direction, okay? I have this one that looks like an array. It's actually called a grid. Your grid allows you to see where things are in the middle and things are not in the middle. I might even leave this up for the demonstration. And then on the bottom is a stopwatch. The stopwatch timer allows you to do three seconds or more. So I can, if I would like more time, if I feel like three seconds is not enough time for me to take a photo. So if three seconds is not enough time, you're going to need to change it to add more time. So up in the top left hand corner of your screen is a gear. The gear button, you can click on that, that's your settings, how you can change it. The second option is to change the amount of time that it takes for you to take a picture. You can choose 10 seconds or three seconds. So if you need longer, let's try 10 seconds. Go back to the arrow, it closes it down. So if I wanna do a timer, I can click on this um, timer uh, setting. If it has a line, no time. If I have it clicked, it will show me the number 10. Then I'm gonna come over to my right hand side in the black section. There's video, photo, or square setting. So your picture right now is a rectangle. You can pick a square, it's much smaller. You don't get to see a lot in there, but we wanna have the most room. So we're gonna pick photo. If you wanna send me a video or a message describing your artwork, you can also do a video. So I'm gonna show you a photo first. I'm gonna get my artwork ready. I have the timer. When I'm ready, I'm gonna put my picture up. Make sure I can see my face. Good. And then I click the big white circle. You can see a timer. It's counting down to zero. Smile. Three, two. Great. So, I'm gonna click the bottom. Oh, sorry, I went too fast. So I'm gonna click the bottom circle here in the corner. It has a preview of my picture. I click it and this extra new window, I can move it around, it shows me my picture. Oh no, I didn't smile in this one. If you don't like what you did, click the X button. Try again, look, look at the number, get ready, press the circle. Then I can bring my hand up Count down, I see five, four, I should get ready. Nice job. So I'm gonna go check my work. Click on the gallery. Wow, I like this photo better. I have a little hard time seeing the why, but I don't have a lot of light in my room. That's okay, I like this one too. Let me check my other ones that I took. Don't like it. There's a little trash can, I can throw that in the trash. Do I wanna throw it in the trash? Okay, delete, I can't get it back. And I look at my other photos, mm, okay. I'm gonna pick this one. Now, there's some words in the top left-hand corner. It will say IMG, that means image or picture, and then a bunch of numbers. I'm gonna double click on it to highlight, or you can start at the beginning and scroll and make sure it's all blue. I'm gonna call this Roy G. Biv. Or this is the color lesson, something that you're going to remember about your photo, okay? And then add your name. That way I know this belongs to you and not someone else's work. Then I can just click out of that and it saved it. So I'm gonna click the X to say goodbye to that screen now let me show you how to make a video. I'm gonna go over here and click video option. And now a red dot appears in my white circle. That's a record button. I'm gonna click record. This is my artwork. Oops, sorry, I forgot the timer was still on. Three, two, one. This is my artwork. I colored in a red circle, an orange circle, a yellow circle, 
I even made a rainbow too. Check it out. Thanks. Bye. Then you press the square to stop. So, how do I watch my video? I'm going to go back to the circle on the bottom. Click on the gallery. It's already there for me to see. Hmm, how do I play? Oh, there is a triangle in the left-hand corner. Click once. This is my I'm going to put the volume up. Cool. I'm going to press the pause button because I've already seen it. So this is great. Now I have a video. My video, I know it's a video because it says V-I-D for short for video. I'm going to label it. I actually like the vid part. I'm going to delete or backspace and I'll say colors. And then I write my name. Great. All done, I click outside of it. I'm gonna click the X to stop. And we're back. So, um, how are we going to put all of this together? I'm going to click the X in the corner to close my camera application. And then close, and it's gonna open up a new window right here. Okay, got it, message. Then I write my message, hello art work bye and then I say my name I go to the paper clip click I look for images or even videos right we made two things so I have all these files here I can also go to these topics if I'm just looking for an image I can click image I'm gonna pick my Roy G Bib one it's loading great but I want to send you some more ha <laughs> ha I'm gonna go to the attach file then I click on video I made a video from Mrs. Wix. Yay. I'm going to open that one. It's happening. Click, click, click. Great. It's a little bit longer because it's a bigger file. Now I'm happy with my work. I'm going to click on the blue send button. Click on the blue send button. It's going to go over to Mrs. Wix's email. Then when you're done, close out your work. Close out your computer. That's me. All right. I see the message and I see that there are two things. Wow, what is this? I gotta click on it. Wow, that's some great coloring. I can see all the labels. More, wait, oh. Uh, it's having a hard time viewing it, but that's okay. I'm gonna click download the video and watch it on my computer. It's spook. It pops up a video player. So I got my video to launch and now I can play my video. Um, that way I can see any messages from you and I can't wait to see your artwork. Okay, thank you and let Mrs. Wix know if you have any questions, send me an email, bye.